Alrighty, let's start this. this off my chest all right guys you'll join me it's the weekend No, tonight is um Masonic. Masonic is on and I'm waiting for him to join me. So y'all share the video please. beautiful people yo thank you for joining um, no tonight I have Masonic on here so Masonic let's play the music let's have people come on in about five minutes then we can start okay so just go ahead and share the video and invite your friends to come over Hello, sir. How you doing? Not bad. I know we limited on time, so I see that you we got to get this done. Yeah, you know we could go we could go up to about seven forty-five. That's okay, fine. So I, I I have up to um five p.m. Okay. So we, we, we got to do this in the next. We got to be done at least by five, my end. That's fine. All right. So share the page now so you can invite some people to come on. Okay. You know, it's and so I strange. Cause I, I was trying to do this from my laptop, but I wasn't seeing uh, the invite button for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, sometimes but, uh, it just does its own thing. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy, so. Yeah, sometimes it be on its own time where you really can figure out what's happening here. Okay, so I'm trying but to share. At least we here now. I know, right? Yeah. So what, what do you think about that song, Juke? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you had the name, sir? <laughs> no. <laughs> we're, we're gonna talk about Juke. I don't know why we're juking now, but we're talking about it. No, Juke that dance or that dance move. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm telling you that that special dance on it, man. 
Really? I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's I a. Fresh, it. I just need a. I need a find. I need to find a group that would that would be able to do that dance, but I special dance done it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for a group that can do the the the. Ooh. Yeah, the 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 uh, a, a group that would do the choreographed dance, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Juku okay, is a, good. Yeah, Juku is good. a is a dope one. Yeah, you got a lot of you got you got a lot of songs here. I love that. Yeah, the main ones we should focus on would be uh, that level. If you got it, we could play a little bit of. Let, okay. Let's play. Let's play at least two two um two songs from my from my um my album Carnival. Mm -hmm. So we we'll play that level and maybe find get never suffer. All right. So this year is that level. I like it. Yeah, and then after that we can do Juke and Mama Africa or. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. <laughs> I will follow you back, Telma. <laughs> let me show you guys the view. First of all, let, let me introduce um, the show. Let me introduce our superstar here. Everybody, welcome. I appreciate you guys so much for joining um, LEF, Liberia Entertainment Festival. I'm your host today, Kona Hall, and today I am joined by Liberian superstar. I love this artist. I love his music. Um, this is Mezonic, the one and only Mezonic, <laughs> and he is here today to share his music and to share his knowledge with us. So this song that I'm about to play by him is called "Da Level." All right. So you, I, will, I will rewind it so you can watch the video because he has a music video and it's really, really hot. So let's let's um let's. I say you yeah, get you you got everything tuned up. Oh, oh you must say that there. Yeah, we're not making it lazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, wow. we're not making it lazy. But not smart. Dale not right smart. Dale not smart. Not smart video. Not smart video. I can see already. You know what's funny? The girl, those girls in Vegas, they actually did a performance like two months ago with that level again. You know. Oh really? So they love the song so much. Yeah, they love the song so much down there in Vegas. They're doing all kinds of things to that song, man. That <laughs> level. Oh, not so much June, yo. <laughs> Where was my us? That level. <laughs> Oh, you know, my labyrinth sister, eh? I, I'll feature you anytime, man. Anytime. Hey, you know, but man? yeah, but sometimes, but sometimes y'all just be bluffing, man. I mean, when we're ready for y'all, y'all be people. bluffing. So, <laughs> oh, for real? No, I'm not. You, part you of got people. a crew, but when we're doing video, we, we need a crew of girls. So, if you got <laughs> some friends down there, no problem. We can fly out there. Oh my god, this beat is so hot. Hey, Dalebo, 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 Lebo, 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 Thank you. 
Our level. <laughs> oh man. Not on that level, don't come here. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> oh man, this is gonna be the fun. Naked casa, not no level over there. Hey. I'm, I'm telling you that level. <laughs> mm. hey. Level, that level, you see that? Masonic. Yep. The level. I. <laughs> What happened? Oh. Your volume went out. You there? Your music throughout the um the interview. So oh, guys, okay. y'all thank you for joining. This is Lef. Welcome to the page. We are here with our superstar, Mizonic. So Mizonic, I know who you are, but can you just introduce yourself to the audience a little bit? Yes, my name is Mizonic. You know, I'm an international artist. Um, actually, I started as a hip hop artist, and I started making music like seriously back in 2005. So I started out as a hip hop artist, but you know, I've always put African elements in my song. So um, when the Afro beat craze came about a few years ago, like I would say by, by 2015, that's really when, you know, the Ghanaian people, they were doing the Azonto, if you remember Azonto. Hey, yeah, man, we know Azonto. Yeah, so around that time, I was like, you know what? I'm about to get back to my roots. I'm about to make music right. Right. for Africa. Right. Right. I'm about to make African music that the world will enjoy, you know? So basically, mm -hmm. uh, I started transitioning and uh, eventually, you know, I became an international artist, not just a hip hop artist. So um, yeah, in a, in a short, short way, that's who I am. I mean, I could break it down in a longer way, but I'll let you ask the questions. All right. You just took it to the next level. Of course, of course. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Afro, I Afro beat is, is, is so hot. Think about it. You could go to a party now and still dance to Zo Blazo. You remember that yeah, song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, yeah, old yeah. songs that came about a um, long time ago, you know? So that's, right. that's Afro beat. Whereas hip hop, unless you go into like an old school hip hop party, you're not going to hear old school songs that, that that was really popping years ago. So even two years ago, you know, so that's the difference with Afrobeat and hip hop like you. And another thing is we got a whole continent, a whole continent that's rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? So right. apart from that, we have right. African people all, all around the world as well. That's, that's really right. rocking with us. So, right. you know, it's like, it's like food. Basically, if you have good food, like Mexican food is pretty good. But guess what? Mexican food is all over America now because right. everybody loves Mexican food. African food should be the true. same. African food should be the same way where you have everybody all across this country eating African food because they actually love the food. You know, food is a big right. part of culture and that's what we're trying to do with this music. We're trying to just make the music as authentic uh, as possible with our culture, our Liberian African culture, but for the world to enjoy, you know? 
and you do you're doing an amazing job because I love this song. I feel like every culture can relate to the song. You know, no matter what, you don't have to be from Liberia to exactly to that level. Exactly. Yeah. So, exactly. Um, so Mezonic, do you write and uh, do you write your own songs? Of course, of course, I write all my own songs. I come up with ideas for songs that I collaborate with people on. Like even finally get never suffer. I actually did the song. I sang the song and I, you know, sent it to my boys. They listened to it and they kind of put their twist on it. But I come up with the ideas, the concepts. Most of the time, I even produce my own song. You know, I'm right here in my studio, but I don't want, it's, it's too much junk around here. But if I start showing you around the studio, you'll be like, man, he got stuff everywhere, you know. And, so you're um, a busy man. Yeah, I'm I'm an engineer, I'm a producer, but the, now my focus has been producing, coming up with hit songs, you know what I'm saying? Songs that will last forever, and, and that's my focus. So I'm not just everywhere with it anymore. My focus is coming up with hit songs, management too, so I'm managing an artist, Zwi, managing, uh, trying to manage another artist in Liberia. And, uh, you know, it's been kind of tough dealing with that situation because he's all the way in Liberia. But right. Ziwi is here, so I'm able to at least communicate with him as often as possible. So, All yeah, right. but I'm into management. I'm really looking at international bookings and things of that nature. I'm really taking this music thing as a business. Like, anybody right. who's going to watch this interview, you know, I need your support. If y'all like that level and you want to see another dope video or dope videos over videos, projects coming out, albums, you have to support what I have. You have right. to support the album right. by purchasing it because that same money, we're going to flip it and go do another video for you. You know what I'm exactly. saying? You got to exactly. buy the, the T-shirt. Look, Carnival. Get the album Carnival. We got it on the on the website. So we got okay. the T-shirts, the hoodies, and everything. So, so you know, uh, where, where can people find all this? And uh, What's your website? My website uh, is, is, is MizonicRecords.com. If you go there, you should be able to find the Carnival page. The album page is called Carnival. You know, or you just type M for short, you type M R P E uh L L C dot com forward slash carnival. You know, and when you go over there, everything is on there. Like everything you need to to get this album and and bump to it is right on that page. You know, so, so M R P E L L C dot com. Exactly. M R P E L L C dot com. You okay. could put forward slash carnival because it takes okay. you directly to the carnival page. All right. Okay. So um for us to purchase your music or to get your music, your music is on all different platforms because oh, I, know yeah. I just have to put your name on YouTube and it comes up. Right. So that's another thing. You could either go to Google and just type Mizonic Carnival. And everything will just come up, or you could go to that page that I give you, and you'll have the Google links there. You'll have the iTunes, the Spotify, all the links are on that page, that one page. The, right. the sweater, the, the, if you want CDs, actual physical CDs, everything is okay. on that page. You know, oh, that's what's up. That, so how much are yeah. you paying this game? Because it seems like you are well equipped. I mean, I've been in the game like, Again, I, I started making music seriously in uh, 2005. 2005, you know, but I, I did a lot of hip-hop albums. I will tell you this. Once I got into Afrobeat, like fully serious with Afrobeat and, and hip cool, it's like I feel like the love has been way more than when I was doing regular hip-hop. Like I've had ah. more, way more opportunities. I I was able to perform at the Whiskey Show in in Washington D.C. Oh, uh, wow. That was 2017, and I think I've been getting a lot of offers to perform here and there on some some really big platforms. And I'm not gonna say it now because I don't like jinxing myself. Sometimes you right. know right. you say those right. things and they don't really come to pass. So right. I'll just keep it as as right. things progress. People would see that. Oh wow, he's doing this. He's doing that. So, yeah. So, are you working? Um, have you worked with other Liberian artists? Of course, of course. I've worked with uh with several artists. Like a lot of Liberian artists, I worked with in the beginning. They're, they're more. They're mostly from around the Charlotte area. Okay. And uh, 
a lot of them are not even making music anymore. Maybe one or two are still making music, um, you know. And uh, and then later on, I transitioned. Actually, I worked. I was working a lot with my cousin earlier in his career, but unfortunately, he he got killed like in 2015. So oh, so sorry. Uh, yeah, he you know, but he was his name is Royalty, you know, and I even gave him a shout out in uh in the song Mama Africa. I don't know if you're gonna play that one next, but yeah, I gave him a shout out in that song, and um, Royalty, you know, he was doing pretty good. But apart from that, you know, I've worked with some Liberian artists. Uh, I work with Jay Yakande, my boy Jimmy Black. I've worked with other artists in other ways, not necessarily on a song. So I've done press releases. You know, okay. normally when you release a song, you got to have somebody who could write a story up for that song sometimes, you know. So a lot of times I'll write the story up for the artist, you know, and we'll publish it in the press, in the U.S. media. And a lot of me, and a lot of U.S. media outlets, they'll pick it up, you know, pick up the story, and they'll start, you know, circulating the story. And uh, so I've done a lot of those types of work. I've done uh, albums for this group I worked with, but they're not Liberians. They're called um, Carolina's B Fam. That was years ago. I did two albums, produced two albums for them. So. I've worked with a lot of different artists, you know. All right. Yeah. Okay. And... So, so um, you started doing music here in the states, or you started mu doing music back home? No, here in the states. I started doing okay. music. I would see it's it just happened in a funny way, really, because uh, I was in Atlanta going to school. I was going to school to be uh, elect electronics electrical engineer, which I, which is what I'm doing now for a professional working nine to five career, you know. Okay. So I'm over there and uh, I've always loved music. I knew how to rap and everything, but I ran across this guy that uh, I don't even know how I met him, to be honest with you. But um, I just ran it. I was driving looking for like internship and I seen like a studio sign. So I said, you know, let me go check out this place and see what's up. And I talked to the guy. I said, man, you know what? I want to learn how to produce of course, you know, American people, they're all about their business and money. <laughs> you already know. Yeah. Even even though I threw the word intern, it ain't really matter. He's like, look, man, if, <laughs> right? you, if you come in, in my studio to beat on these things, you know, you're going to have to pay something. I was like, pay okay, so how much are you going to charge me? He's like, well, you know, we could do like $50 for like two hours, you know. Yeah. So I said, you know what? It's kind of reasonable. I'll work around that. So, and I'm a fast learner too. So, got me in his studio. I already had the beat already in my mind, what, what I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, got on the drum machine. He showed me how to program it. And I started beating. He's like, man, but you're pretty good at beating those drums. And the first song I produced, the first beat was, the song for that beat is, is called Crazy Beat. You can go on Google now and search for Mizana Crazy Beat. And basically, I mean, it's a lot of drums, kick drums in there. I, I put some snares and horns and stuff like that. But yeah, that, that was the very first beat I ever, ever did, which was back in 2000. And uh, man, it was back in 2000, I think 2003, sometime like 2002. Oh, wow. You've been doing this for a long time. 2002 2003 that was around that time so yeah you know after okay, that so I, um is there any new projects that you're working on right now as we talking um i would i would say that uh i'm i'm about four or five songs into my new album um i don't have a name for the album yet and the reason i put things on pause for me was i was waiting for my artist's uh, that I'm managing Zewi because we've been I've been pushing his work a lot, so we're looking to release his album around the summertime. He's like a dance hall Afrobeat artist, but more on the dance hall side, you know. Okay. So, uh, but I've just been recording songs. You know, I got one song that I'm trying to feature somebody as of late. I see my girl on here, Yo Yo. I'm still gonna get that feature from you. But yeah, um, you know, so I've been recording some songs and uh 
And right now, I'm like four or five songs into my new album. The new album is not going to be more than 10 songs. It'll probably be like okay, eight, I, eight that to was 10. my next question. How many <laughs> songs on your album? I'm not doing anything more than 10 songs again. Eight to 10 songs, and that's it, you know. So okay. right now, I got like good four or five. And uh, I'm going to feature at least two girls, you know, and... um. And yeah, and we'll just keep it going. So we'll this, keep it going. Is this your first album? No, no, not at all. This this is more like my um sixth album, six. Oh. Yeah, this is wow. more like yeah. The first uh, my first album is called Liberia Was Left. So I was still representing Liberia back then. You know what I'm saying? First album is Liberia Was Left. Second one was Inspired, and uh, third one was called Never Give Up. Uh, fourth one was uh, I think uh, melodic universe. I want to believe. Fifth one was inspired two, and sixth one is carnival. So yeah. So among all those albums, which one is your favorite? To be honest with you, carnival is my favorite al album, and the reason I'm saying it is the growth. You know, I took the time to really learn. I realized what I what I know how to do best. You know what I'm saying? I realized the sounds that work better than than older sounds, you know? And uh, I told myself I don't have to do everything. So if I have, like, great production, I should utilize that, you know? And I just feel I like Carnival because of the growth, because of the growth. But when it comes to hip-hop, though, if it, when it comes to hip-hop, Inspire 2 is definitely my my best hip hop album because if you listen to that album I mean I'm talking about some real conscious things especially pro black things things mm -hmm. that are happening in the black community that that's right. affecting right. us a lot of africans love to shy away from that topic like oh well, I don't want to talk about pro black situation that's not affecting so me So we think it's African. an african american um, right. problem but it's all of us Right. We think it's an African-American plight, exactly, but it's really, like, when, when the cops see you on the street, they don't even look at you as African until you tell them you are, you know what I mean? So, I love to look at things from that perspective because I have children. I don't know if you have kids. I have three. As that, me too. I have three kids, and looking at my kids, they are they are Black Americans, you know, and I'm a, even though I'm a I'm an African immigrant. I'm still a U.S. citizen, too. So right. at the end of the day, you know, what could happen to a black American person on the street could happen to any one of us. And that's so that's so that's we can't we can't continue to just shy away from that situation and feel like we ain't got nothing to do with it. You know, now, you know, we know there are a lot of shenanigans in the black community, a lot of nonsense that I don't really need to voice out. We know that ratchetness you could call it that you know right <laughs> she nay nay and them you know pookie <laughs> pookie and ray ray we we know all that them baby kids and you, all them oh baby. yeah we we know that but at the end of the day who doesn't have dirty laundry in the closet you know now we don't have to be voicing and another thing liberian people we do we love to get on social media and voice out all our problems we gotta stop that it's not really it's not cool, man. Just you know, we gotta. We don't need to know our. Dirty yeah, dirty we we we. People that are knowing, they also have theirs. Yeah, they got their own problems. We need to just you know talk among ourselves. But when it comes to publicizing things, we gotta change that. You know. All right. So, yeah. um, you as an artist, are there any artists in Liberia that you are looking forward to working with right now? Um. Of course. Yes. Uh. And I keep on forgetting the girl's name. I mean, her name keeps slipping out of my mind. I don't know. Faith Vonick. So oh, Faith, that's my girl. I love Faith Vonick. Faith Vonick and I have been kind of communicating. I'm still going to work with her. I told her how to take care of some things, you know, but okay. she's, she, she's a dope artist. And yeah, she's she, really, that, that would be a good collaboration. She's right driven. Here. I really like her because she's driven and she's all about her image. If you can see, yeah. she's constantly posting really good pictures on Instagram and really keeping mm -hmm. people paying attention. I mean, I don't know how she does it for real because for me, I'm not a picture guy. I, people ask me all the time, like, why you don't take more pictures to search? I, I just don't. Yeah. 
I have all the picture equipments here. I just don't like taking pictures like that. No. I, well, no. you have to now. You have to. I mean, I'll take it sometimes, you. but you know, I'm just, you know, it, it's just hard for me to just. I'm not just like one of those dudes. Every five minutes, I gotta go take. Nah, I can't do it. It's not, <laughs> I just feel like it's a female thing. You know what I'm saying? But I see well, a lot. Not anymore. Not, yeah, exactly. Anymore. Nowadays, a lot of dudes like they take pictures every single day. Yep. I, I just don't. Oh, I don't yeah. get it. I don't they, get they it. Be guys taking more selfies than, yeah. than the women these So I don't. I don't understand that. But yeah. Um. You know. All right. I like Favonic. I like uh, my boy Soul Smiter. He's a very talented mm. artist, and I'm, okay. you know, I'm managing him. But we gotta just work on that communication line. That's it. All right. Yeah. What but... about some some Liberian artists here though? Like artists like Jay Lewis. Have you heard about Jay Lewis? No. Uh, All right. Person Jay here. I like I like uh, what's his name? D12 style. I like his style. All right. Um. I've worked with uh, Black Diamond before. He's called Black One. You know Black Diamond, right? No. Nope. Out of North Carolina here, Black Diamond. We call him, he's called Black One now, but his name is Black Diamond. Okay, so I'll check on that. I've worked with him a long time in the past, but uh, he's still, he's he's a good artist. Uh, who else? Uh, 2C is pretty dope. Um, you know, even Bucket Raw is straight, but I mean, for me, I, I don't, I don't like I don't like to go for super famous artists. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, I don't I, I don't like that because I feel like it overshadows everything. I like to go for sometimes the underdogs too because you get to see their talent as well, you know. Right. And that's that's really, really true. Working with artists that are just upcoming. And some of these artists they just don't have the means of really putting their music out there, but they are really dope as well. So that's yeah, really good. Yeah. So, um, so what what really inspire you though to do music? Because we know that in the Liberian industry, the artists not making money. So, what keeps you going as a Liberian <clears throat> artist to say I'm going to still make music? Well, you know, for me, as I've spent all, I've spent real money in this business. Like when I look at people, I just laugh. I've actually spent real cash. But the one thing I I realize is when you start anything, you have to you have to build it like a house. You have to have a foundation and build it up. And my foundation in the, in the music thing, I think has been the fact that I invested in equipment. Okay. I, you know, because if I was just going from studio and studio hopping and doing it like that, I don't think I would have even stayed in the business. So I invested in equipments. I still have most of these equipments, you know, and, um, and then I invested in learning things like promotions, you know, marketing. I invested the time to learn those things. So all of those right. things just made, made me grounded, you know, and made me feel like, you know, the goal sometimes is not right before your face. It might take right. a while right. and it might not exactly. take me. It might not take me to really break through as far as financially. But the artists I'm managing, though, might be right. the person right. who might break through, right. you know. Sorry about okay. That. But yeah. Because I was I, I was about to ask you that um is there any management team that you own right now? Yeah, any your label? volume is kind of low. I'm struggling to hear you. Okay, can you hear me? Barely. I could I could hear you, but it's kind of like kind of low. I don't know why it went so low. Hmm. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I could hear you. All right. So is there any label that you are signed to or are you an independent um, artist? No, I'm, I'm independent all the way. Um, actually, uh, for my last album, Inspired 2, I did have a pretty solid distrib distribution deal. So I had a deal where my they put my album on Walmart.com. They had it in Best Buy.com, like most of these big. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, they had it on Barnes and Noble. And um, it's still on there, actually. Like, you could go search so and you, you'll you find it. you did all that yourself? Huh? You did everything yourself when it comes to your music? Yeah, you I, well, things? I signed a deal. I signed a distribution deal. After I was done with the album, I sent it to a distributor. And they liked the product. And they said, okay, we're going to put it in these major stores, uh, oh, major wow. store chains. 
Um, most of the stores, they were like, they were um, online stores, most of them, but there were some that was actually brick and mortar stores, like regular stores. So, oh wow, yeah. So, there are a lot of artists that tune in that are watching this live. Okay, so, um, you as a Liberian artist, since we have we, we gotta go, you know, time is scarce. What would you say though to the Liberian entertainers when it comes to working together? <sighs> well, I guess the easiest, the easiest way to put that would be since every artist will not just come together easily. The most, the best thing we could do as artists would be to do shows together. Like if I, mm -hmm. like you could come do a show in my city, I will host you. You know, right. I'll come do a show in your city. You host me. Now the financials, we're gonna have to work it out some kind of way because right. no right. artist got money to just pay their friend. Like right. I'm not about to pay you two thousand dollars to come to my city. You see right. what I'm saying? But I could, I could say, look, let's work out a deal. We'll get the DJ. We'll get the club. You know, yeah. you'll get, like, this percentage at the door. And uh, that way you're able to come to my city and do your thing, and I'll come to your city. So I think, I think that's the best way because everybody ain't going to be friends. You're going to have your small clique of friends. That's always, you know, but for the rest of the crew, that's, that's, all, that's all we could really do, you know, just – do swap shows. We do shows in each city. And me, if I travel to, let's say, Minnesota to do a show, I would just be prepared, have my album, my sweat sweaters, T-shirts, DVDs, whatever I have to sell, yeah. Yeah. in addition to being able to do stuff at the door. So, yeah. You know what? Mr. Monrovia say shout out to Medzonic. Yeah, Mr. Moore. I got a song with him, too. Yeah, that's my dude, man. Shout out to you, bro. Okay. Shout out okay, to you. Okay, so Mr. Morovia is also an artist. Yeah, he's an artist. He he does hip core, and actually, he's been doing hip core way longer than a lot of people. A lot of people, okay. you know. And okay. when people okay. were laughing at hip core, he was doing hip core, you know. Oh, and he okay. was really well. doing it the the real raw way that everybody's okay. trying to emulate right now. So okay. shout out to that dude, man. Like he's okay. shout out you know, to you, Mr. Morovia. Yeah, shout out to you for for keeping up, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. So right now, what uh, what song are you really focused on to make sure you're promoting this song and getting it out there? I I, I couldn't really hear. I don't know why your phone went so low, but I'm barely wow. here. So I'm saying that right now, what song are you focused on promoting? You know, you that you really want to get out there to the people. Right, right now, I'm I'm transitioning from my from my album Carnival because I released okay. the album the end of 2017, you know, so we coming up to almost what, like two years now. So I guess I'm still trying to, I'm, I'm playing songs from carnival. The best songs on there will be that level and probably find get never suffer. And I got another song on there. Pledge leave my foot. I don't know if <laughs> All right. you heard pledge leave my foot. Where you be getting your titles from you, man. What, you, what inspires you, those you know what? It's like I have to think about things that Liberian people relate to. These are things that we talked about <laughs> growing up, but it seemed like everybody want to just make song with the same titles instead of just going back to your childhood and making songs from, you know, stuff that we all said before, you know? So, Pledge Leave I, I My like Foot. That. I like that. <laughs> Pledge Leave My Foot might be my next video, actually. It's a really nice song. I don't know if you ever heard it, but it's on the album, so you can hear it too. Oh, there you go. There you go. Chamo me a crook. Yeah. Yeah. I say, he must be true. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know, my get, you know what? Hey. Let, let, DJ Corner. 
we gotta we gotta end this. We gotta end this with Mama Africa, and I have to run. I have to go do another interview at a studio. You did say that. We been. Today was such a busy day. Such I have to go day. do another interview at a studio. So that's what you should do. End it with Mama Africa for the people. And exactly. we got to do this again. We, we, we got a long conversation. So we'll do this we again. Do. You have a lot of knowledge that you need to share with us. Yeah. So we're, we're planning for it. Maybe we can do it next weekend where we can really just talk. Right, right. We're going to do right? it again. And uh, But play Mama Africa for them. And I will do that. I will do that. I will play Mama Africa. Yeah. For now, you know, thank you. You actually came on and you share a little bit of your knowledge that we really needed. So good luck to you on your next interview. Do what you're doing. And um, I will, you know, we'll, we'll catch up. Thank you so much. Appreciate All right, but it. I will do Mama Africa for people. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, Mama. I appreciate you. Thank you. And you're so much. beautiful too. You're very beautiful. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. You're a handsome yeah. looking man yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. All right. <laughs> All right. So this is Mama Africa. Let's 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 let me um let me show you guys the video. Beautiful Africa. So this is Mama Africa. Oh, that beautifulness. Thank you, Mr. Moravia. I appreciate that. You know, that's what we do here on LEF. We promote Liberian music. We promote Liberian artists. Mama Africa. Thank you. 
got court leaders, Africa the best. We got four teachers to that's 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 try to tell us how to go past the test. Beautiful land, beautiful, beautiful people. Mama Africa. beautiful mama africa i love songs that talks about africa you know we need to keep reminding people how lucky we are to be africans thank you thank you thank you thank you teophilus thank you so much so all my beautiful people it's been a wonderful time hanging with you guys today's been a beautiful day it's beautiful outside it's beautiful here in the studio and i'm glad you guys you know came back and um, joined the show. So that was the one and only Mezonic. And, you know, one of his hit songs, um, That Level. I played that earlier. So I'm glad he could come on here, you know, just talk a little bit, give us a little bit of his knowledge and about his music and all that good stuff. You know, on LEF, we try to promote artists. We try to, you know, pretty much bring awareness to Liberian artists and uh, what they are doing out there in the world. So it's been a pleasure having you all today on this platform. It's been a pleasure having Mr. Mezonic on here. Right now, I'm going to go home. Well, I'll probably do one more show, but I'm going to go you know, in a little bit, go home and try to enjoy the weather. It's so beautiful out there. So yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate every single one of you for the support and the love that you gave to LEF. Continue to support Liberian Entertainment Festival. Continue to support the page. You know, for those of you that are new to the page, please go ahead and like the page and be a part of it so, you know, you can always know when we are coming on, you know, and all that good stuff to show support and love. So, yeah, thank you now. I love every single one of you. Thank you, Mazonic. I love you, my brother. Thank you for joining us today. And um, we'll catch up with you guys later, okay? So, you'll follow the page. So we can all work together, all right? And build this big dream that we all have here. All right. It's been a pleasure having you all on this page today. I will talk to you all soon, all right? Bye-bye now.